What's going on guys, New York Sports Talk here. And today, we're going to be talking about the Giants-Lions game and the Giants-Eagles game that's coming up this week. Well, first off, Giants got killed. Giants lost to the Lions 24 to 10. Well, first of all, congrats to the Lions fans. Um any Lions fans on YouTube, congrats to you. You guys really whooped us in our home opener, man. It was it was close. It looked close. It was a 7-point game at one point. But really if you watched the game, it was terrible for the Giants. I mean, O-line is terrible. Eric Flowers sucks, okay? He's trash. What happened to all this work in the offseason, Eric Flowers? Huh? What happened to it? Oh, Jesus Christ. You'd think that work would pay off, but nope, not with this guy. He's ass. He's just naturally garbage. Yeah, Jerry Reese, if you want to still be the GM for the Giants, you got to fix this offensive line, like, right now. Not in the offseason, right now. You got to, like, invest in a tackle or a guard, somebody. Because these, because this offensive line is atrocious, all right? You especially need to invest in a tackle. Why didn't we ever make an effort to get Joe Thomas, huh? Like, it's worth a shot, right? To at least trade for him. Maybe give them, maybe give them some good draft picks for him. Like, we need an O-line, man. I mean, seriously. We need somebody good on the O-line, like Joe Thomas. And first of all, I want John Jerry and Bobby Hart out of here. I want Flowers, Bobby Hart, and John Jerry out out of here, okay? I mean, seriously, there's garbage. All three of them. I mean, Weston Richburg and Justin Pugh, I'm actually okay with them. But, I mean, the other three are just atrocious. And yeah, Eli, he, he had a nice touchdown to Evan Ingram. And Evan Ingram, I'll give you a shout out. You were the only Giants player that showed up on Monday night. So, congrats to you. Well, at least on the Giants' offense. You're the only one on the offense that showed up, so congrats to you. Oh, you deserve a shout-out. Yeah, and shout-out to you on your first touchdown, bro. You deserve it. You're a great, you're a good tight end. Oh, man, but this team overall is just, looks like shit. I mean, what can you say? Ugh, and now on to the Giants-Eagles. Um, Yeah, I don't know about this game, man. I mean... Considering how bad we've looked through the first two weeks of the season, I don't know how we're going to win this game, to be honest with you. I mean, I hope to God our offense just shows up somehow and our defense shows up. I hope somehow both sides of the ball show up, but I just don't see it, man. I don't see our offensive line all of a sudden showing up, especially against one of the top D lines in the league. I don't see it. I, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if our O-line gave up 10 sacks this Sunday, 10-plus because they're so bad, and we're going up against a top-tier D-line. I mean, our offensive line is in for a beatdown this week, guys. And look, and look, you guys could call me a fake fan and stuff for not believing my team, but what's there to believe? I mean, we looked like crap the last two weeks, and we haven't, and, and this team has not showed us fans anything, anything, any reason for optimism. They have, they have not, they have showed us nothing. To be optimistic about. So how am I supposed to expect us to win this game, guys? I mean... Again, I hope to God we come into Philly and get a W. I mean, this is a must-win game. If we want to keep our season alive, we have to win this game. I don't see it happening. Could it happen? Yes. Do I see it happening? No. Because our team just hasn't... Because this team has not showed me any reason... To be confident about this game. None. Again, hopefully the offense could come together. Hopefully they can at least score over 20 points. But I just don't see it happening. Especially against a top tier Eagles defense. I mean, their D-line is top tier. I mean, their secondary is okay. But, I mean, the I mean the positive side coming into the season was our receivers. Have they done shit so far? No. Has Brandon Marshall done shit so far? We gave, we signed this guy to a contract. I was so hyped about this guy. I thought he'd actually do something. Nope. Nothing so far. I mean, when he's gotten open, Eli hasn't found him. He And he and when he actually has the ball in his hands, he drops it. Like that game against the Lions. We had a chance to get back into the game. You're only down by seven at that point. Brandon Marshall drops a sideline pass that he could have easily caught. It was in his hands. Eli Manning threw, threw a Perfect ball. It was right in his chest. 
But no, we had to drop it. I mean, it wasn't a perfect throw, but that was definitely catchable. He had it in his hands, and he just flat out dropped it. If he caught that, that could have completely changed the game. The Giants could have easily gotten to the red zone and tied the game, but nope. I mean, it's just horrible, guys. This team is just something else. I don't know, man. Do I see the Giants winning this game? No. I see the Eagles beating us, honestly. And I see us falling to 0-3. And that's just being realistic. I don't see us winning this game. Again, I'm a, I'm a diehard fan, but I'm also a realistic fan. And I don't see us winning this week. <sighs> hopefully, my next video will be of a Giants victory lap. And hopefully, I'll be talking about how we beat the Eagles. But I just don't see it happening. All right, New York Sports Talk, come out.